Ready. Play. This week, overall. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, of course, it sucks to lose in the final, and especially a match like this, I couldn't produce a fight, and you know she was really on top today. So yeah, but overall, obviously, very proud of myself this week. Okay, first question. Marta, congrats on the final. Um, in terms of not being able to produce the fight today, how much of that was the crazy week kind of catching up to you today, and how much of it was the tennis that Elena was able to produce? Um, I think 90% my tiredness uh, played the role today. I was, you know, I really, every morning I didn't know what to expect from myself on the court today because really, me being able to put it off this whole week and you know play an amazing tennis yesterday was something incredible and something I would never expect I can do. So, but today it was you know obviously I was very nervous. I wanted to win a lot this one and yeah, it's I think there were a lot of things together and yeah, I just I just couldn't probably bear it anymore. Did you have the feeling before the match that you are tired or well, did it then really come in and you were not able to recover? Mm, I don't know because I'm not I wasn't looking for this feeling before the match. If I'm tired or not, I just try to prepare myself as much as possible for this match. and. Yeah, and when I was on court, uh, it was one point after another, game after game, and uh, yeah, I, I really couldn't produce pretty much anything today. John? You're rightly proud of your achievements this week, and this year as a whole, I heard that in your speech afterwards. But you were very frustrated on that last point, you know, you, you showed it with the racket throw. Um, do, you, do you sort of think that you didn't quite you know, do yourself justice today? I think it was more like, have you ever lost a match for Porsche? <laughs> uh, this, that hurts. I mean, I honestly, when I lost a match in San Diego, it didn't hurt as much as today because it's one of the only, it's the only tournament in the world when you win something in the final besides, you know, a title and the prize money. So of course, this is something I, I really wanted and yeah, I think whoever loses here in the final will understand me really well. <laughs> Marta, would you then consider this week what you said in terms of what you were able to pull off this week? Is this week a breakthrough week for you in terms of what you were able to accomplish? Does it feel that way? Mm, it's much shorter tournament than a Grand Slam, even though it's a it's a very high level tournament, so I don't know, you know, because the, you know, tennis itself is, is a very different every day, every tournament and, you know, I can play uh, 500 and uh, play four out of five matches against top 10 players, but uh, King Wen this year in Australia, she made it to the final of a Grand Slam without without facing top 50 player, you know? So it's like, you, you don't know, you know? It's like, uh, is, it, is it enough to win a Grand Slam when you play final of this tournament or not? Or you need to perform better or, you know, it's like, I don't measure these things if, you know, it was a breakthrough or not because I had really a lot of incredible weeks this, this year and they were all very different, very different level of players. But I was some week, some weeks I was overcoming more stuff, you know, some weeks less. But I don't probably measure it in a way if it was a breakthrough or not, because it was an amazing week and I I went through a lot of things and I managed to push through and got and come out on the other side better. And this is this is the only thing I'm focusing on. But I don't really take this as something like incredible, you know, like, wow, 
week of my life or whatever. No, of course it was a great week, but you know, I'm moving on. Marta, congratulations. Uh, how would you describe the impact of Sandra Zaniewska on your, on your, on your game, on your improvement? Uh, I mean, you can see the results. I, I will not tell you a lot of specific things, but she definitely has, has and had a lot of impact on my game and on my life. So it's, it's important to have some, someone like, like this by your side, especially if, some, if it's someone that is close to you. Okay, we'll do two more, John, and then here, yeah. Hi, Marta. Uh, so at 6-2-5-2, 40-15 uh, down, you're facing two match points. You would go on to face another one as well, which I think you saved. Um, did you still believe at that point, or did you think, I just can't do this for another hour? Or, or did, did maybe your other matches this week help you in that moment, think, I, I could get back into this? It was obviously a long way behind. I was thinking this way earlier than match point. I tell you this. Uh, that I will not be able to handle this for more than one hour. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a human being at the end of the day, like all of us, you know, of course, I, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I, it's not like I was giving up at the end, but on the match point, I was like, yeah, you know, you gotta fight till the end, because what if she just falls now and she cannot get up and you win, you know, it's like, these kind of things you, but this is the only thing you can really do in these moments, because I'm, you can be delusional, but to a certain point, you know, I'm not that delusional yet to believe in something like this because, yeah, I mean, it was really a tough, tough week for me, you know, and uh, I had a very, very good player on the other side. So, yeah, I, I was fighting, but I still, you know, I, I don't feel like I believed in a miracle today. Okay, last one. Then. Well, uh... Would you please give us a literal a translation of the Ukrainian motto you gave at the end and the, the other thing, maybe an insight about these last moments, uh, the record damage, uh, your face having, you having your face behind your uh, towel and then re-getting composure and then obviously uh, the new challenge by the Ukrainian uh, support during the ceremony. So, what, sorry, what's the question? What you said, what you said in the speech. Yes. What, he wants to understand what that. So that was in English. Uh, so Ukraine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a saying that we say in Ukraine. It says, um, "Glory to Ukraine," and people reply, uh, "Glory to heroes." So, I used to say it before as well, but it became more mainstream when the war began. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's. It's kind of like, I take it as, uh, you know, I recognize Ukrainian people on the, abroad uh, because this is the way you, you know, uh, uh, for example, I don't know, we're in Monaco, for example, and there is, uh, you know, there are a lot of Russians, of, of course, and Ukrainian people. And if I see someone that I think is Ukrainian, I say, it's all Ukrainian. If they don't reply, I definitely know that they're Russian. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, I I think it's it's important to to give this recognition, you know, to Ukraine and uh, everything that we've been through as a, as a nation. And now it's a very difficult time, and it's continuing to be a difficult time. So I don't want anyone to forget about it, really, because it's it's still happening. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.